you guys for my own sanity because i'll get dms about how terrible something is doing and i'm like mm, that is what happens on the stock market but i understand as a new investor it can be very scary it can be like hey have i lost all my money it keeps going down let me disinvest take it from me who has panic sold before just calm down log off some people even go as far as deleting their apps. I don't go that far because I'm so terrible with passwords. So let me rather just not delete my app. Uh, 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 uh. I just do not log on. For my own peace and I keep myself busy. You know, just read, do your work, don't log on. And keep investing. Key thing here, keep investing keep buying those shares at a cheaper price now i know minus 23 percent minus 50 percent minus i've been there and i'll insert the screenshots for you guys to see as well that how this i was sitting on like 100k in profits and now look less than half of that you know and i'm still here i'm i still haven't disinvested i'm just like i'll wait it out i would rather still have my money invested on the stock market than to disinvest and just keep it in my savings account why but one thing that i am going to change for the next six months seeing that we're done with this six and we're entering the next six months of the year what i've decided that i'm gonna do because you guys know gore um there are a lot of things that i'm gonna need to take care of mobility accommodation i come live at your houses guys <laughs> uh food expenses living expenses and i feel like in order to plan for my return i really need to make sure that a lot of my money is accessible for those things that i'm going to need to do so if i'm going to be investing big amounts and putting them in the stock market um i might be in a predicament now where a, I now want to disinvest some of that money because I need it and I don't want that because also what if By the time I want to take my money out because I need it The stock market is not doing well Which is also one of the things that you must be cautious about as an investor that This gambling of putting your money in the stock market and saying I'd rather put it in the stock market and then in six months time I'm gonna need it and I'll take it out you don't know what's gonna happen in six months time okay so i'm just gonna reduce the amount that i'm investing but i'm gonna keep investing every single month just reducing the amount so if you're investing five thousand and above keep at it assess whether or not that is something that's feasible for you if you're that investor that has been investing those smaller amounts i'm coming to join you now <laughs> yeah and i i think it will show you guys as well that you can invest small amounts and it can still grow and you don't need big amounts for your money and your investments to grow growth is more about percentage it's not about how much you put in obviously the more you put in two percent for somebody who invested ten thousand versus somebody who invested 500 will be different right sure now before we get started let's do our usual tradition here on chat with tessa where we celebrate the new subscribers the newcomers in the community people that are helping the community grow which is you who's watching right now so grab your cup grab whatever it is hey 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 let's tip it to the screen and sip cheers <laughs> i'm drinking water today I want to love a glow, man. Mm. So, 
today i'm going to take you guys through um how i'm going to invest my last 5k I'm going to add one new company to my portfolio and the rest i'm literally going to buy my dip i'm going to look at those companies that i really want to have more shares in and just buy more shares and probably i'll get them at a cheaper price than what i had initially bought them for the past couple of months or uh maybe it might not necessarily be that low but they've gone a bit down this time uh we're gonna do the usual screen recording where i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna go about it and we're gonna look at graphs again remember we did say that we're going to normalize normalize looking at graphs and trying to analyze you know just the simple line graph nothing major like what the daily traders are using yet we're not there yet let's just use the normal line graph that is on the easy equities app that you can also use this type of strategy when you are investing to sort of analyze and be like oh, okay i can get some value here because this graph is showing an indication that you know there has been a bit of a dip here and i'm going to capitalize on that okay so let's go and invest so the money that i've deposited is reflecting right here on my czar account a whole five thousand and uh i think i'm actually just going to use it in my czar account so let's click on account overview to go and see every holding that i have the first company that i want to buy more shares in is transaction capital limited so let's look at the graph first for the past six months um it's been a lot of open up here at transaction capital maybe you have been able to capitalize on these lows and highs and so forth for example my average purchase price has been 41 rand and 13 cents so if i buy more shares now we're currently at 38 rand 50 cents so you know what i'm actually buying lower than my usual average and yeah that's great for me um i'll definitely be able to get more shares for a cheaper price than what i usually used to buy at and yeah i'm gonna click buy more so i have already spoken about this company transaction capital limited and what they actually do and they fall under the category of financial services you can read this short description about the company or you can watch the video that i recorded they also have their own youtube channel which has um two great videos that actually explain what the company does and this is one of those that i definitely want to keep buying and building more um of the shares that i have and not so long ago i think was it this month there was a dividend that was paid out so if you guys did receive your transaction capital dividend you know what you need to show me confetti transaction capital okay <laughs> so i think i'm gonna buy like shares that are worth about a thousand bucks and that will give me about 25 shares and this fraction which is not a full share and i think i'm good to go i am going to select for the order to be placed only by at ask that is less than or equal to 38 rand 52 cents and that essentially means that uh, my order will only be processed when the share price is this amount or less okay because remember the share price is always changing on the stock market and it's going to be a buy order because the stock market is not open right now but as soon as it opens my order might get processed if it's 38 rand 52 cents at the time it opens or less okay but if i select this first option buy it best available ask it will literally process my order at whatever the price is on the stock market even if it is higher than this current 38 rand 52 cents that we're seeing and i don't necessarily want that so click right here uh place by order but remember your easy money does kind of offset some of the investment costs 
the broker commission, I get that discount of two rand uh, 49 cents, something equivalent to two rand 49 cents from my easy money discount. And we have that pending label because my order has not been processed yet. Stiff catch, stiff catch, stiff catch. <laughs> Okay, let's buy more. I know that the EC10 has been hey showing us some land. Oh, guys, hey, hey, you know what? Um, I'm going to still buy more because I really believe that it will come back up again. Um, a lot is going on in the crypto world. And I still feel like investing in a crypto token and in cryptocurrency individually it will be beneficial we just need to be a little patient i guess and i think the first time when i bought the ec10 back back then it was like in the 50s 50 rand something some people had bought it when it was still like 20 cents or less you know it's 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 it look look it has been pretty pretty low before and yeah I'm going to capitalize on this and buy more. When the highs come, this is one of those that I actually do sell. I don't hold it for too long. When the profits start coming, I sell. But when, oh, not a hundred, one thousand. But when the, when the highs come, I'm like, mm, I'm taking some profits. I'm taking, I'm selling. Uh, yeah, I think a whole thousand in there should be fine and i'm okay with that and i'll place my buy order hey steve kate steve kate hey steve kate oh <laughs> can there ever really be a month where i do not invest in my favorite 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 purple group limited which i really feel is a great investment and i have spoken about the company before but i think we can do another review but um hey yeah it has been busy three rand something the highs and some of you probably got into purple when it was like then the three rands and stuff but i mean like it's still below five rand okay and i'm just gonna keep adding more shares every single month and i'm glad that it's gone down a bit so that means that i can get them at a cheaper price than when it was at three rand 40 something three rand something so two rand um to rand what this is the the price to rand 19 cents um yeah let's go for it and i'll definitely make it a limit order hey steve kate steve kate steve kate but would definitely love to add more to all my other companies but you know i just want to buy a new one okay and as you can see you can see what i'm what i'm typing this is our new edition <laughs> so um discovery a lot of you already know about discovery you've probably engaged with their product be it medical aid be it the insurance be it the bank discovery vitality whatever it's a very um diversified type company in terms of uh what they offer to their clients it is um also a financial services and life insurance company and i'm like i was looking at their graph today and i was like hello 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 so in the past year a lot has been going on the past six months um is it the past year or the past six months no the past three months they saw a minus 25 percent loss uh in share price and i'm like okay something's going on but i am going to take the opportunity take a little bit of risk and invest in this company i will go into more detail where we can talk about discovery and see why i think 
personally this is a company that is good to invest in and why i feel um I'm going to stay invested and keep investing in this company. So that's where the rest of my money is going to discovery. And I'm also going to place a limited order over here. And, oh, okay, wait. So I can kind of set a price. But, you know, looking at this graph, it does seem like it's progressively, little bit by little bit going up a bit. It might tend upwards. So you know what? Uh, nah, it's okay. And also, the lowest we've seen this month of June is, what, 130 rands and 10 cents. Mm, it hasn't really hit that amount previously. Um, in, no, it hasn't. The past six months either. In the past year. So... Oh, it did. Okay. But I don't want to wait for that. I'm not going to place a specific order for a specific amount. I'm just going to select the um, buy order that is at an ask of less than or equal to 136 rand and 94 cents. And I hope that it will go through. Steve Kate. Steve Kate. Steve Kate. Steve Kate. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, as you can see, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> zero. It's done. It's finished. <laughs> it's done. The money's finished. And that was my investment for this month. And here are my orders. I've invested in Transaction Capital, the EC10 Purple Group, and Discovery. Huh? Market buy. That's what I selected? I wasn't paying attention. Oops. Okay. But it's fine. I'm still okay with the price. I mean, we'll see. But essentially, I could cancel and do it again. But nah, it's okay. I, I don't want to do that. And that is it. I hope everything gets processed here. Um, if you still find that companies that you've invested in are staying in the pending order section, that's because the price which you selected at less than or equal to has not gone less than or equal to that amount yet. Maybe it's tending upwards, it's going higher, and you can come back and cancel your order and place it again. But I think I'll keep things like this um, for now. All right, so that's about it today from Siskesa. Thank you for investing with me. Hashtag invest with Tessa. Let's continue to grow our money, give our money potential for growth. Forget about the dip, forget about the negative figures. You are not making a true loss. Just try and wait it out, okay? And remember to find me on financial chats underscore Tessa. All right, where you can ask some of the questions that you might have and engage with the content that I'll be posting on a more regular basis. Thank you, Nikansa, everyone. Keep investing. Goodbye.